Welcome to ASMTG and our series on standard events. The thing I constantly will say is the best way to make your account infinite, right? If you're gonna put in some game time instead of climbing that ladder through platinum, through diamond, struggling just to get an extra two packs, we could sit down one session, gain two, three packs, and gain some gems, and that's what we're looking for. The first time I did a series like this, we played all aggro decks. The goal was speed. Let's get those seven wins as fast as possible. This time, I wanna play a variety of things. So we played control, we played budget, we played mid-range. I'm gonna play some aggro, of course, but now it's time for a little bit of a combo deck, one that's been floating around, one that really excites me. And Virtuous Strength, when this came out with Wilds of Eldrain, it was one of the cards I was most hyped to play around and I did it in my early sessions. So I got a game in when it was early access, when I was playing other streamers, the goal was get to that seven mana and burn them to the face. No different, okay? We're gonna use World Souls Rage though to do that burn because when we get that extra damage, maybe we have to kill a creature with it. We're gonna be able to get some lands back. And the key is all the Nuka Pen and lands that are gonna sack, search our library for land, and they're going to be able to gain us a little bit of life. So the whole goal with this deck is we wanna get up and get our Aftermath Analyst on the battlefield. Then we're gonna be able to crack it. We're gonna get a bunch of lands down. If you also have your Nissa down, now we're just getting almost infinite mana, and then we play the Virtuous Strength, untap, and then we're going to do a gigantic World Souls Rage 20 or more to the face. It's really easy with this one as well because we have a galvanic iteration that maybe goes in the graveyard, we flash it back or we just utilize it. And so now we could copy a World Souls Rage. So realistically, what you're looking for, you only need 14 mana, two for this, and then two for the cost, and then you pay 10, double it, that's 20 damage to their face. And then in long games, we have all sorts of fun things like Colossus Turtle, get back a creature that we might need. We have the Shdeki that we're gonna be able to channel. So the key here is channel, so they're not able to actually counter that. Because a lot of times if you're going against control deck, they might counter your World Souls Rage. One of the reasons you wanna copy it. But then also if they counter it, fine. We just go ahead, get back a creature, get back a Shdeki, do this whole cycle over and over again, hopefully they'll run out of counter spells. Now my big concern, anytime you take a combo-ish style deck onto a standard event, is the two most common things we see are aggro and control. An aggro, mono red and Boros Convoke, I think those things just might be a little too quick for this. Now, if we go first and we're able to curve out beautifully, we find the ill-timed explosion on curve as well, we might be able to hold them off, but I think it's going to be a tall order, and the fact that standard events are so chock full of decks like that, I think it's gonna be really hard for us to do, but that's why we play the games. This one though, I'm in incredibly intrigued about. This whole build a whole bunch of mana up and burn them in the face with one shot, I've been a huge fan of always, and so I can't wait to try this one out. Unfortunately for me, I haven't watched any videos on this deck. I haven't played any games with it. And this guaranteed is a tricky one, okay? Aftermath Analyst and the Nissa with all the lands and the timing of when to do things. So this is gonna be a definite learning curve for me, but it's a great opportunity for you all to watch though. And if you haven't played this deck either and you want to, maybe we'll learn together. So make sure you stay to the end of the video and that's where I'm gonna give you my final thoughts on it and let you know if I think this should be a deck you should use in a standard challenge. But I cannot wait, so let's go ahead, jump into the gameplay, fasten your seatbelts, because I'm expecting this one to be a long one. All right, here we go. This to me is going to be the most interesting so far of all the ones I've done in standard events, because I feel like this deck could play almost a lot like a control deck to go long, but it's also a deck I've never played before. This is my very first game. I've heard a lot of people talk about it. A lot of you have been excited about it in comments. And so I've thought the deck looks really cool. I want to test it out. I was one of the big uh, proponents of a deck like this when Wild Eldrain first dropped. Uh, yeah, sure, we'll try this. I mean, this could be risky, right? So let's go ahead and get a mountain. Hello, there we go. Um, I, I mean, probably not the best keep. Oh, there, that makes it better. Oh. Because of that, hmm, I actually, I want to wait now. So if we're against a Boros control deck, or it could be even a Jeskai control deck, this is probably going to die right off the bat. Okay, it's a reanimator one. Wow, I have not seen this deck in a, oh wow, that's a good hit. Let's say I have not seen this deck though in quite a while. We're going to play it down right now to try and get greedy with this. 
So turn five, they're gonna get their one with them a multiverse right off the bat. Okay. Interesting. I would not have expected that. Let's go island. We're going to get an island. Pick island again. We don't need that yet. So let's draw our cards first. No attacks. We're fine. We're, we want to get everything back. We want the double triggers. Oh, just to discard one card? Okay, we'll discard just the forest then. So how much mana do we have available next turn? So we play that, double trigger, we'll have six. So we play this and crack it. So I guess we should have ditched one of those instead, okay. But we're gonna have to get going here right off the bat. The thing is, their deck could be so explosive so quick, but... Okay, they're still searching. Part of me wants to be greedy here, though. I think we have to get greedy to win this game. Let's go blue. Green. All right, so we could play this and get them right back. Oh, maybe that's what we do. Oh yes, that is what we do. Okay, so now we do this. Hopefully you don't have, okay, so. And we do it again. See, I mean, I'm not sure if we have this right now. Again, never playing it. We're testing things. Okay, and then we go another red. We need the blue for that. We need red and red. So we'll go green. Green. Let's see. So we pay six to do it again. One, two, three, four, five. So we only get five mana out of it. Should get a little bit more than that though, but I think we play this again. Okay, we get a couple more lands. So now we activate its ability. All right, so we need, we don't need another blue. I'm gonna do it just in case. Green, green, 
red, blue, green. All right, so now these all crack. Unfortunately, I don't think we have all that many more lands. Decline. I think we have one more, right? Maybe we don't. Maybe we have thinned out of all of our regular ones. Yeah, because I think we milled that over. Okay, so what do we have? We have 13. So... We pay two. We pay two and nine. That's 18 damage. So what if we do it again? Wait, that doesn't work that way, huh? Ah, oh, shoot. Eight. We only have six. Shoot, I definitely messed that up. Wait, did that work? Does it copy it twice? Now we go with blue. Wait, I'm telling you, I mean, if I played this deck before, this would probably be a little bit smoother. I think we're okay here, but it's just like, I have not used that in so long. I don't even remember. Can I do that double copy like that? So we get our triggers here again. We're gonna go, yeah, just green. Mm. Be nice if it didn't have to decline every single time when you didn't actually have this. But I'm pretty sure we just have done the whole combo. Uh, what was that? I don't even know that one. I am surprised they're letting us do the whole thing. So at least game one, everybody's getting to see this and they know exactly what's happening. But look at our life total too. And this is the problem with doing one of these in a standard event. This is a long sequence to be doing. All right, so no attack. Oh no, oh, I messed that up. We had all that mana. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, uh, we were supposed to memory, de memory deluge and then find our threat. Oh boy. Yeah, okay. That's okay, we'll be able to use this and hopefully find what we need. Okay, kill my creature. Problem is, they're about to gain six life now. Oh my gosh. Talk about stupid, stupid plays. Weird they don't attack with everybody. Okay, uh, let's go here first. Can't kill everybody. Let's do it again. All right, World Souls Rage, and we should have it. Three, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we could do it for exactly eight. Ooh, almost messed it up. Submit zero, just end the thing right there. 
Totally, I mean, I messed up my steps. I was supposed to memorably deluge the turn before, be able to actually find it. We somehow, we get away with it. So hopefully we'll clean that up, but. So I was really excited to play this deck and trying to get to do that pop off. And now I've done it. And now we have a bunch more games. We're gonna have to keep trying it over and over again. I think this is gonna make for a long session. I think it's really cool. I think it's interesting. But now the question I guess is really how successful is it? We did it once. Can we actually get seven wins before we lose three times? Let's find out. All right, uh, yeah, I think we can get return target creature or land card. So yeah, let's keep that. Um, let's go ahead and get our island here. So we have our removal. Okay, let's see if we got enchantments. So we'll let them build up their nice big board before we do it all. So we're gonna go find our mountain now. We need to ensure on turn four, we're able to pop everything. Whoa, fight rigging. Okay, that could actually get dangerous here. Not expecting that. You know, I might be able to pop off before they do their thing. Let's go ahead and put this down and, and see if they're able to handle it. If they handle it right, it gives us a little bit more incentive to actually just clear out this board. We do have Beseju though as well, if we had to. I don't want to do that. Okay, they got the ossification. Uh, Beseju might be worthwhile on that though. Probably should have just done that on their turn or on their end step. Seen a little bit more information. I guess we just play this now and we go look for the pop off next turn. So now their ossification has to go after my aftermath analysis, I think. Okay. If we could avoid an ossification here, I think we could do our thing. Don't like that one white mana up. So they got a five, five coming at us. Yes, okay. They played the land, I'm pretty sure. Oh, maybe they didn't. Maybe it was Sage and that was their fifth land. Okay. All right, here we go now. So we play this first. We choose green. Go and get green. All right, so we'll be able to do this a few times. All right, so now we pop this. Green, 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 blue. Get a couple blues in there. Get a couple reds in here. So 
so funny because I mean I think a lot of people they see this deck and they absolutely know just right off the bat like oh yeah you have it right now game's over and I'm sitting here not positive All right, I think that's all my land though. So if I, like, do I have enough? If I do this, I think I could crack that again. Okay. Yes, get another land. Blue, blue, red, red. And now we might just kill this board too. Green, let's get one more blue. Okay, we do have another land, nice. All right, decline. So unfortunately, but our our life total is up nice and high. Okay, tap that. It's gonna be a memory deluge. We don't find it. Swing in, see if they just want to chump block. <gasps> I did it again. Oh my gosh, I forget I lose that mana. Oh my, what am I doing over here? You got an ill time explosion right then and there. Oh, that was, yeah, that's devastating. We're gonna take a big hit. They're gonna flip these over, oh. Gross. Boy, making a mistake game one, making a mistake game two. It's, I, I forget about that. Okay, so. Calyx. I'm hoping they spread out these fire riggings now other spots because right I could do seven damage to everything uh, uh, does the does X damage each creature where X is the greatest mana value among cards discarded this way <gasps> oh, my virtuous strength hey. okay artifact or creature good 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 spreads it out to their life linker all right so they will go up to 23. Oh no! Exile target non-land permanent. There goes my virtuous strength. Oh boy. I think we cost ourselves the game here. I mean, lucky for us, we can get rid of everything, but boy, was that an error. We can't get rid of that now. Oh, oh, they didn't do it. Oh, shh. Okay. Okay. So I think it's still virtue, right?
Ooh. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, and yeah, we'll just go ahead and play this. And now we'll pass the turn, but we should be good no matter what, because we'll be able to copy it. Oh man, that was definitely a little bit scary though, I will say. Would have been a simple victory last time. Would have been nice and clean. I guess we just like to make things difficult on ourselves. I guess we would have still tr wiped the board though. We would just had to use the rage. Interesting. All right, here we go now. Um, yeah, we'll just go here. Let's go blue. Tap all our mana. What is that? Uh, 28, 39, 37. And copy it. Let's submit zero. Don't need all those bings. Game's over right then and there. Ooh, all right. Yeah, I had fun. I made it scary on myself. So again, I think one of the best things about watching any content creator, maybe the other one's got a few games on another belt so you wouldn't have seen these mistakes, but is if there's a deck you're interested in playing, watch a few of those gameplays so you don't make those same ones. So right there, right? I let the mana disappear. I missed the sweeper. It could have potentially cost us that game. All right, so despite my best efforts, we are 2-0 right now, right? Got a lot of cleaning up to do to make sure we get this. So every game, I make some mistakes, I learn from them, and hopefully we don't make them again. And that's always kind of the idea. I'm no perfect player. It's normally repetitions, practice with a deck, and that's why I always say with these standard events, find a deck that you've actually played for a while, a deck that you really know and you're good at. All right, and we definitely are not good at this deck yet. So far, just its power level has been taking us through. I also would say we have yet to get those super hard matchups. So we'll see what happens when we do. Uh-oh. Oh, that is not good. All right, we need blue. I actually think we got a mulligan that. Okay. We'll keep this. I'm going to send back. Yeah. And then which one of these gives us blue? Island. Mountain Forest Plains. All right. So we need that. Okay. Azorius Control. This should be incredibly tough. One counter spell really puts us in a bad spot. Okay. Because we drew the green, we're going to wait here. All right, they allow it. Put it in our hand, might as well. Don't foresee us being able to use this at all. So what can we do here? Ugh, bad draw. I'm going to assume this is just going to get countered. Oh, wow, it doesn't. Okay. So a potential memory deluge. We could always play this just to draw a card. Okay, there we go. Uh, we need another island. Forest Plains Island. Okay, there we go. So this should be a long one. And I really don't know who's favored in this matchup, but I'm just assuming it's them. Return target card from a graveyard to your hand. Save that for late. We'll go ahead and pass. It's going to be a while, too, before they start swinging in with their creature lands. Okay. I think we just get another forest. Oh, feeling a little bit of my allergies right now. All right, let's see. Out of just nowhere. End turn. See if they try and take their draw step. They go Wandering Emperor. So we'll go ahead and draw our cards. Not not the greatest. 
Fortunately, this only does it to creatures, not at all planeswalkers. Maybe that would be too strong if it did both, but. Okay, now they're gonna start firing up their creature lands too. See if they crack that map token or if they're leaving up no more lies. Okay, so shields down. It's just we don't necessarily two four ah shoot. Okay. We go island. At least chump blockers on the ground. Yes, get you back. Do it again. Get you back. Okay, so now we got a chump blocker here. We're gonna use it no matter what. Problem is the counter spell now, right? You would just go straight virtuous strength. We just pop it right off the bat. We've got the edge in this fight. By us being patient though, they're just gonna memory delusion, maybe find the things they need. Okay, that's good too. It's a lot of land. I think we just go for it. They have to hard counterspell this. Thing is, they know they want a hard counterspell. They want a hard counterspell my virtue, and they know they want a hard counterspell my world's soul's rage. So the nice thing though is, Right, we'll be able to copy it now, get that off. I mean, this is getting interesting for sure. Okay, land, 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 only one. So, I mean, we, we have the land to do things now. Hopefully we'll be able to get all those basics out. Klein, see if we get that red. Forest Plains Island, no, okay. We still have one thing in there, so no. What do we have? Four, nine, 12, we have 13 land at the moment. Turn target card from your graveyard to your hand. So I could bring back Virtuous Strength. Let's see what they're gonna go for, two, four, six, seven. We're gonna force them though to use that hard counter spell. Just keep throwing our blocker here in front, that's fine. Keep our life total up nice and high. Force them to do it, otherwise they just memory deluge. Okay.
We can flash back our own memory to lose here as well. Wow, I think we there's a chance we have taken the lead here. Two, four, five. Mm. Oh, wait, no. It's three times. For some reason, I was thinking two times. All right, we'll just end turn right there. I assume you memory deluge to find the things you need. You also want to get lost to destroy that. Okay, March. Wow, so they go super expensive to do that. That does exile it though. Okay. Huh. May your blade strike true. We attempt to do this again. We're still out of range of no more lies. They have the hard counter. Darn, too bad we didn't have that. Okay. Okay, we pass, so we could always bounce this back to their hand, our hand, if they try and remove it. At the march. All right, return our creature. Return target card from a graveyard to your hand. So we're going to try and return another virtuous strength. Guards, to me. So we're going to channel. Get this back. Four, five, six, seven. And we still have make disappear mana to protect ourselves. So let's go here again. Okay, so it lands. That's big. I think I would rather draw. We could play this, but then they would just, they would just kill it. I could play that. Uh... Yeah, let's go and go here. All right, now we pass. See if they have a memory delusion hand. No, they don't, okay. Poof, definitely a thinker on this game. A, a super challenge. All 
Problem is we used our one sky turtle. We still have a Shigeki in there. Shigeki? Okay. I have got new moves to teach you. Drops us to 19. We're gonna memory deluge. See if they want to use their make to spear on. I mean, their uh, no more lies on that. Oh, okay. Here. And we'll go here. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We go here. Pop its ability. So huge landfall effect. Okay, let's just go blue. Let's bounce these around a little bit to everything we might need. Takes that red. So one thing we don't want to do is try and pop them for too much. Because may I mean no more lies, we have to assume they have and a hard counter. Okay. So now we do it for 20. All right, that should just be game. Oh, wow, we did it. Apparently, I mean, maybe, yeah. I'm super, super happy with that win right there. I mean, I think we got way ahead because we're gonna be able to channel this and we're just gonna be able to get so much value, just get so many things back if we need to. We still have the memory deluges. So realistically, I was gonna memory deluge first. We're gonna be able to find a few more World Souls Rage. So just really well-rounded game on that one. And we did not make a mistake. We're learning. I hope you're all still with me. We are going into our next one. Who we are three and oh right now. So really, really tough matchup that Azorius Control one. And I mean, they drew a lot of cards, had a lot of mana available, and maybe they don't run a ton of counter spells. Maybe they were a lot more just like set up to go against Boros Convoke in the mono red. So sitting with a lot of temporary lockdowns, sitting with a lot of sunfalls. And maybe, so if obviously we saw Jace, that was gonna be real trouble. We would have to use the World Souls Raids to try and kill that. But maybe their big win con was their Wandering Emperor. But they kept leaving up so much mana, right? They weren't attacking in with their birds. And then they weren't drawing the card. So it was, it was a little interesting. All right, we'll keep this. We want to find blue. All right, here is the true test. Are we going to be able to beat a mono red? All right, so we go blue. And we're going to have to get this down right off the bat because we need that good blocker. Right, you would like to just keep gaining some life, but more important things to be done. Okay. They keep top two. Gonna throw a monstrous rage on it as well. So 
So at least we have a little chump blocker here. Don't like the two virtues in hand. Okay, so it gets the counter because there's nothing to get back. That's three lands. All right. Hit us, hit us for one. That's excellent for us. Mountain Forest. Forest Plains Island. We're going to go ahead and get that mountain. We're going to get this down. So hopefully next turn we could crack it. Land, land, land. Oh my gosh. Okay. If we could crack this next turn, that would be so huge. I mean, look at this. One, two, three, four life ganged. And we're going to get six lands on the field. Okay. We're only blocking with this. Force them to use that pump or burn. Once they do that, we're going to take four and we'll see how much extra. Play with fire. Okay, so we are going to take four, but we're going to be able to do it. Oh, this is huge. Absolutely huge right now. We use it as a blocker though, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, we pass. We're gonna use it as a blocker, save ourselves a little bit of life. Squee, don't like that. Five, six, seven, eight, nine damage we're taking. Are we gonna be able to come back from this? Get a blue. And we have one of everything left now. We're at seven. <sighs> That's ten. Let's thin the deck out one before we go searching. Oh, we don't get it. What can we do here? Is there any way to live? One, two, three, four. It's only four life goes to 12. Three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we have to play this. No, there it went. Ill time explosion. That's exactly what we needed. Return target creature or land from my graveyard. So we could bring back our Sky Turtle and bounce something. Probably not our best bet though. All right, we pass and we see if we could live here. Man, if we found that ill-time explosion, we would have been off to the races on this game. We would have got their squee back. So this is gonna take to the air again. I think they just have it.
haven't even done the math yet, but I think five, six, seven, eight. We might be at one. Oh, exactly lethal, they got it, GG's, darn. So just didn't quite have it there. I mean, would have been super interesting. Ill-time explosion had to be found. Maybe it was get back the sky turtle was the way to do it. We were at eight. Yeah, if we got the sky turtle, that would have been the thing that would have done it, right? Because we could have bounced that. Blocked. Still blocked. Two, four, five, six, seven. We would have gone to one. After that, though, I don't know what else we would have done. We would have had to draw some. I mean, memory. Play the virtue. Four, five, six, seven. And we would have got. Uh, yeah, we would have had enough mana. Hmm. Well, wish I would have done that, but fun matchup. So super fun last matchup. We're now three and one, and that was really the worry. Mono red on the draw. Can they get in and finish us off? And they drew pretty well. No monstrous rage in there, no lightning strike for them, but we almost were able to stabilize. And it is that question. What if we brought back our Sky Turtle? We bounce it. I mean, it was a little scary. I thought the play we did was maybe gonna be smarter, but in hindsight now, it doesn't seem like it was. I would have loved to see that. And still might not have worked out for us. Okay, here we go. Copy, forest, island. We got the island. So a forest, I guess, is what we take. Yeah. And then we'll be able to go get another copy too. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are we playing today? King Dad joke with a 164 card deck. We're three and one. So normally I see this maybe a game one, maybe a game two, right? But usually not when you're a three and one record. Okay. I mean, are they also three and one with this? Oh man, we'll take the ill-time explosion, but I hate to see two of them in the graveyard. We do have a turtle. We could always get it back if we had to. Yeah, I, I am. I will say I have no clue what they're going to be playing. So now we need red. Oh no, that doesn't get that. Shoot. Okay. Um. Sure. Then we'll just get another forest. We pass. Not having red is really hurting here. Force Plains Island. Hmm. Up the beanstalk. So they'll have a big beater here in a moment. Wow, this, this could just be trouble. We might need to bring back our, our Nyssa. It might be a must. I'm going to actually do it. Okay, that's good. Weird tap. Okay, we got another land in there. That's at least good. No attack. We'll save ourselves some life. A simple chump block there. Not the greatest hit, only three. We 
You go straight to one, reveal my hand, no creatures, that's fine. No land drop, so we gotta... Let's pop this now. Would've been a good blocker, I suppose, but... All right, there we go. There gets our red. Get a second red. We don't have enough, huh? Only could do five damage. Okay, that was a good hit. All right, now we could pass. So now we at least have something to get back with this and we could do a pretty sizable hit. We could pay the three and double it as well. See what they get off of that, but it does drop them 20. The lower their life gets, the better for us. Okay. <sighs> that sucks. Fight spell, unbelievable. You're gonna obliterate me? Okay, 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 okay. This is our shot right here. Let's go red. Green. We now sack this, right? Because we'll get more value out of it. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, let's make sure we do this right. We need, we'll just take a blue, a red, a green, a blue, a red. Okay, um... Right, that's good. So this 11. To the face. And we would get all that back anyway. GG's. Holy cow. 
Yeah, we had it. We didn't need to get those lands back, but you want to make sure you get it back so then we could have at least done that for another four if there was a couple points of damage off. Oh my gosh. What a win on that one. All right, we got four wins. So the Chumps Man breaking even, right? That pack now only costs us 75 gems. Got to hit that fifth now. Oh man, big game right here. Long ones with these, really happy to be four and one. I want this fifth win. I was thinking five wins was gonna be incredibly hard with this deck. I was a little scared with how aggro everything would be. Crazy interesting deck we just went against. I mean, let's say they had dropped that obliterator and they actually had that fight spell. We could have been in trouble. I mean, 168 card deck though, and they really found some pretty good pieces. All right, let's see. The thing is, if we went against that mono red deck and we were on the draw, there, we might have won that one. We'll try this. A little slow though, right? So we want a forest. And we're on the draw. Again, the more you play this deck too, you'll just be so much better at figuring out what you would keep, what you would not keep. All right. Uh, Naya, but I'm assuming Domain, but I mean, in our last standard event challenge we did, we lost to a, a Naya Dragon deck. Okay, yeah, this is 100% then. Forest, we have, we need some islands. Let's go another forest. So the unfortunate thing is we're gonna get this down. It's probably gonna get eaten just right away. Definitely a game where we needed some islands to get our card draw going. So this is able to actually, okay. If this actually sticks on the battlefield, we'll be able to do our memory deluge. That will be huge. They have full domain right there. So Leyline Binding only costs one. Here's hoping they just don't value that. Yeah, all right, they value it. <laughs> get their card draw too. All right, so we always have a Besaju where we could get that back. So that's for my island, and we'll be able to copy that. Question is, are they doing the domain that's going to run a counter spell or not? so funny because i'm worried about control decks but then azorius control that was no picnic and then domain doesn't seem like this is an easy matchup either okay so that's something we could definitely world souls rage just get some things back uh one with the island All right, get a creature down. Oh my gosh, look how much we've milled. That is so good. All right, so we pass. And when we are able to get our lands back though, so the World Soul's Rage is gonna have to be the thing used. They are already at six land. We have to be able to World Souls Rage for four, and we can't do that yet. Oh, we're taking we're taking a bit of a beating at the moment. I think we use this on their end step in case they have some sort of counters. So we'll go ahead and pass. Thirty-eight life though, that's gonna be the real trick. 
Yes. And yes. Okay. Problem is a herd migration, we need another one or we're dead. All right, that's good. We get rid of two cards. Sky Turtle, Memory Deluge. All right, now we pass. Scary game, and they're at 38. So, I mean, yep, herd migration. We have to hit something. Okay, good, 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 good. Unfortunately. It's the other thing we get rid of. Okay, we pass. <gasps> okay, they're they're gonna ley line binding that anyway, so that's kind of a not important yet situation. We actually have a chance in this thing. So that could also get back our ill-timed explosions. All right, so they're gonna cycle. Boy, we're, we're talking about another long one we're going to have here. I mean, honestly, if they're the domain that runs Jace, Jace is a nightmare for our deck, right? We basically mill ourselves by taking out every single land. Do, do we find a Besaju? Yeah, Besaju is already in there. Okay, too bad we can't get that back to our hand. And we've seen two herd migrations, two angels. No Atroxa yet. And really the um, Atroxa, I suppose, yeah, World Soul's Rage we could kill. All right, activate the ability. Wait, wait, what? Tapped. Select an object to copy. Sure, I'll copy that. Mm. 
All right, so I think this is gonna pretty much get all of my lands out of my deck, if not just every single one. Return X target non-legendary cards from your graveyard to your hand. Okay. I think we just go for this. Let them ley line binding it. So let's do 15. So that's 30 potential damage. And then we could use our other one to finish it off. Okay. I like their little bit of land destruction they're doing here. And I mean, we'll, we'll get it all back. Just to gain the life. Unfortunately, it's a ton of triggers. We have the other one in the hand and we have the Shigeki too. I mean, we should be good, Shigeki. We should be good because then we can just get these things back. Wow, beating Azorius Control and Domain. Maybe you were super favored with this deck against those and it just feels like an incredibly tight game. Oh man, I definitely feel like I've been pretty quiet though in this video. There's a lot of thinking going on with this and all the triggers going on. I mean, these are just long, long games. I mean, you don't want to count your chickens too early here, but I am thinking we're going to make it to that five wins here. Right, we're at 27 life. And maybe they just don't have the counter spells. Obviously, you would have used it, right? All right, thirty five life. Ooh, let's see if they just are done. I mean, they know we have... Oh, they gain more life. If they double kicker this, though, this is over. Oh, no, they already paid it. Okay. No blue mana available, though. So this, this is done. Wow. Um, uh, five, nine... 13, 14, 15, 16. So for 14...
Just in case you have, so like, right, you channel for 13, a ley line binding, draw the card. Yeah, submit zero. No point in getting in the life because we did it. Wow. What a game. Zori's Control Domain, fantastic, fantastic decks, and we were able to take him down. Wow. What a match. Oh my goodness. Okay. So we've had a couple long ones. Zori's Control Domain, I said in my intro, right? Fasten your seatbelts, grab your popcorn, sit down, relax. This is a long one. I know most people are going to skip through things like that. Probably won't even hear me talk about this right now. But those of you who do watch all this, I think these are really interesting matchups. But I can definitely see this not being a deck for a whole lot of people. I mean, it, it, a small little nook of people might really enjoy these. And for me, it's kind of one of those decks... I think after playing however many games I end up getting in with it, I'll probably be done. I might revisit it again. We'll have to look at how many pieces. I forgot how many pieces are exactly just not going to rotate. So this could be a deck that, oh, actually, never mind. It totally rotates, right? All, all those lands, they're gone. So yeah, enjoy this one for a few more months, and this thing is gone in July. Uh, silly comment out of me, right? Because all these new Capenna lands are just, see you later. All right, we'll keep this. We need blue, uh, unfortunately, no. All right, Mountain Forest Plains. A secondary forest is the most important. Right, so not actually the greatest hand in the world here. Gari might give us time. We're not gonna use the ability because we need something that gets back an island. That's what we're looking for. This is getting, this is getting scary. We have so many lands in the deck. I mean, don't do it to us this way. We got our fifth win, which is great, right? We got two packs. We gained 25 gems. Can't do it. Absolutely devastating. Wow, now they're just going to get all the value off of this. We have the answers. We just need a blue land. So maybe this just should not have been a keeper. We got Gagari Perexians. This is interesting. So this has got to also be the um, Obliterator Fight Rig deck. If we get a blue land, they are not going to be happy. Oh, uh, what do we do? We just have to keep thinning this deck out. And you know what the nightmare part about this is? They're going to be able to start getting rid of my graveyard. Let's hope they attack in. So if they attack in... Oh wait, that's just tap for any reason, huh? Yeah. So there's the obliterator, which means we can't play creatures. If we get a blue land, I mean, we're fine. Wow, what a way to lose. I mean, this is just like an absolute little whimper. Because what do we... We'll rage the Gix and take nine? Wait, give, give me an island. Yes. Okay. We are not done. We can only do three. Are you kidding me? Okay, we, they killed that though. One, two, three, right? That's all we got. Okay, take that out. Everybody else will shrink. Here's the problem though, that obliterator 
We're gonna have to do seven damage to the obliterator and lose seven light. So we have to bounce it. Okay, we bounce the obliterator and then we have to play this. Having a hard time seeing how we're gonna get out of this thing. So that's eight. If we could live another turn and you get to play your virtue of strength. Not enough in there. So it's gotta be bounced that. Can't play that. But I can't play both and pop it either. All right, so we play it. It's, it's our only chance, so I think we just have to do it. Hundred percent though, this is about to be obliterator and a fight spell. It's gonna be absolutely insane if All right, let's see what we could do here. Green, green, blue, blue, red. Red. Let's go another green. Okay, um... We Memory Deluge. World Souls Rage. So you're telling me there's a chance. Okay, okay, okay. Um, we just take the seven. Up to two target creatures, each get plus two, plus two, and gain trample until end of turn. Seven. Okay. I think we just have to have this to have another permanent down. Bad, 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 okay. All right, now we pass. If 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 it becomes our turn and we still have the virtue of strength, 
and enough lands, we've won this. That's 11. Go for the throw. So I guess this is just gonna be a chump blocker just cause. Getting things back now does not matter. Whoa, 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 what, what is this? No! Uh, our one chance. I don't think we have anything left, right? Yeah, okay. Oh, boy. They're at 15, though. Do we still have it? Nine. So we have 12. We still have it, huh? That's 16 we're gonna do to him? Oh my gosh, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. Four, 10, 11, so we go nine. Oh my gosh. Yeah, submit zero. Wow, what a game. Can you believe that one? Man, these games are, are taking days off my life at least. These things are oh, stressful here. So very similar situation. We've been in a lot, right? Six wins, one loss, going for that seven one. Let's keep this going. What an intriguing deck. I think what makes it actually fun and why I think people, if you have the cards, you should play it a couple times is because it's you're constantly thinking the entire time. You're constantly wondering, how do I get out of the situation? Can I do it? And I would love to hear from you in the comments too. I'm sure a lot of you have seen so many other ways and little misplays I've made and how you could have done things better. But I haven't yet to even watch a single person play this. I know people were talking about Ash Lizzle. I haven't had time though to watch anybody else's videos. And Ash Lizzle is usually one I never like to miss. I love her videos. So there's a lot of good ones I know. I know Jim Davis, I think, did one on this as well. So there's been a ton on it. I just haven't got to see it. So just playing it for the first time has been a lot of fun. I think we have to, I think we have to mulligan this, or do you just keep it? Yeah, let's just keep it, right? We already got the six wins. Let's just go for a variety of things. You assume we're going against aggro. Okay, Boris Convoke. So let's go get that secondary island. We're gonna have to find a sweeper, 100% though. If we turn four sweep them, we might be okay. Turn five sweep. It's gonna be sketchy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Swamp Mountain Forest. All right, let's just see if we're dead just before we even know it. I mean, they, they currently are missing their white mana. They got it. Yep. If they have an Imidane's Recruiter, we're just dead the following turn. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Okay. Ten, twelve. Puts us at five. We would have to top deck, though, a Sweeper. We don't do it. I mean, is, is there any out? Kill that, that's one, two, three, four. I mean, we're dead either way. Yeah, let's see, GG's. Yeah, we didn't, we didn't find it anyway. Just one. So if we World Souls Rage, we could have done it for two, gained two life. We're gonna at seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we're gonna hit us for eight. So mono red and Boros Convoke. And that's why this deck could be a challenge on the ladder if we're talking about 40% of our meta is those two decks and we're 
on the draw twice against it. This time we had absolutely no chance. The time four were really close. All right, here we go. We finally do have a new record. All of our games have been 7-1, except for our one budget one. We went 6-3. and three. So let's see if we could still get that seven wins, but just don't go 7-1. and one. We've yet to ever go 7-2, and two, so looking for that new record. I don't want to go 6-3, and three, right? I mean, we had a fantastic run with this deck. We had some great games with it. We had some early mistakes. We've cleaned them up. We've gotten a little bit better at the deck. Uh, and I did say last game, it's probably not a keep, so... Yeah, if we maybe that's another learning one, right? We need some answers, some creatures, something in that hand if we're going to actually keep that thing. So it's weird that I'm sitting here almost hoping we get a control deck and we don't get a mono red, we don't get a Boros Convoke. And it is funny, in this last match, if you look at most of the standard events, how many times is my last opponent mono red? How many times is it Boros Convoke? It's just like those get to the end so frequently. They're so often pay played in these events and get good records. So it's so often that it's going to be that last opponent. All right, going first, and we actually have a little something here. So we'll keep this. Wish we had some of our sack lands. At the moment, we'll have to play the Besaju. I do wonder though, if you do get rid of the Besaju. Okay, Gagari. Is this I mean, Why is Gagari Fight Club so popular all of a sudden? Who, who played Gagari Fight Club recently i mean i'm gonna have to go check cgb is cgb the one who did it and now this thing's all over the place like what is going on okay yeah we get greedy unfortunately there goes my land although that land doesn't really help us in any way Or they get rid of my memory deluge. I don't like that either. Okay, not a fan of that. So that means we'll have to memory deluge on their end step. Wow, they go my creature. That was a little surprising, I think. Got nothing in there though. All right, end step. Boy, this, this Scrap Gorger is really problematic for our deck. We don't have anything big enough for the ill-time explosion at the moment. I am happy they're attacking those, I suppose. Just memory deluge again. All right, we got to pass. I mean, we could have World Souls Rage. Two, four, five. Okay. So our only hope is we get the virtue down. And they are going to start attacking those lands. At least we get a little something out of this as far as blockers are concerned. Okay. I 
They say good game. Okay, that's good game. GG's. Unfortunately, we're gonna be six and three. We weren't able to do it. I mean, if we were able to have some chump blockers, we were about to maybe make things interesting though. All right, so not too bad. I mean, I thought this deck was really gonna struggle to get its five wins. We win six and three. We win profitable with it, right? We get two packs, we pay 375, so 75 gems and two packs, not too shabby. We'll take that one. Let's go ahead and talk about this deck a little bit more. Welcome back, and always a little bittersweet when we don't get that seven wins. Our budget deck went six and three, and we went six and three with this. But you have to have your head up. Anytime you get a standard event and you get five wins, be happy with it. Be satisfied because we're ganging packs and we're getting gems for absolute free for playing the game we all sit down and we enjoy, we like. Hopefully, it's not a game that stresses you out and makes you mad. If it is, I say we find a new hobby, right? I play this game because it gives me joy, gives me excitement, so many fun, cool little things. I hope that comes across when you're all watching it as well. But this one was a ton of fun and I absolutely love how the first two games Boy, did I look like an idiot and made some really dumb mistakes, right? My mana, obviously on the Nissa, it doesn't carry over to other steps throughout our turn. So I needed that ill-time explosion to be able to wipe that board. Lucky for us, we're still able to get that victory. There was a couple games in there too, just absolute nail biters finishing them off. Now, as far as recommendations for a standard event, this would not be my deck. I set it for Jeskai Control. Even though Jeskai Control is 1A, 1B best control decks out there. And if you love control, sure, do it in standard events, but they take so long. You saw how long that one was when we played Jeskai Control, almost two hours. Same situation with this. We're sitting on 20 minute games when we're going against Domain and Azorius Control and things like that. So it's one of those ones where maybe you do get those wins and you're really good with this deck, then sure, do that thing that you love, the deck that you're most confident with. But Typically when I do standard events, I want something under an hour. And ideally, if I get a super aggro deck, I'm going under a half an hour to get seven wins. Now with this one, I do think kind of best case scenario is typically, or not best case, because obviously we did better, but kind of an average case is a five wins. I think you're very happy with five wins. And a lot of times I think you're gonna get three, four wins with a deck like this. It just depends on your matchup. Are you getting mono red and Boris Convoke over and over again? If you are, I think it's just a real struggle. Obviously, I would have to do way more games than the nine that you saw to really play test this thing and see how it does in those aggro matchups. Just from my experience, as far as looking at a deck and then the few games we got to play against it, it definitely did see like a tough matchup. Plus, Yes, we won Domain, we won Azorius Control, but those just felt difficult. It felt like I was kind of slugging it out that entire time. So while I had a ton of fun with this, this is not gonna be my everyday style of deck. This is one that you pull out, have a little bit of fun every once in a while, and probably not one that I would do in a standard event again. I would definitely jump on the ladder or hop into Mythic and play a few games with it, because I thought it was really interesting, and I think it's one of the ones that surprises the meta out of nowhere, kind of shocks them, kind of surprises them. I would love to see this deck just kind of fade off a little bit after we get our next set. And then over the summertime, before we get that rotation, pull it out again and see how successful it is. Because I think people will start to adjust and get used to it again. In a few months, they'll forget. And now will be the time to really pull it out, especially on the ladder and surprise a lot of people. But overall, still good record, six and three. Happy with that. Anytime we go a little bit infinite with our account. And so until next time, never forget, you're an ace.